Hello all your sons. Let's see this very good question from Pathfinder. Current electricity build up your understanding. As you can see, this is a network. Consists of infinitely large number of identical sections. Resistance of each branch is R. Find resistance of the whole network measured between terminals A and B. So we have to find resistance between A and B. So let me send current I at node A. The same current will leave from node B. The section that passes through A and B divides the whole ladder into two identical parts, the part on the left and the part on the right. Basically, it is dividing the ladder into two different infinite ladders. So both parts are ident identical. The symmetry of the situation tells that the current uh, at entering at A has a four paths to go. It will divide first in the this part and this part. They are absolutely identical. So there is no way to choose between the one and over other. So it will divide identically. And the way current enters at A in the same way current will leave at B. So here it is dividing into X and at this way. Here X and X will come from that way. And now the other two parts, this part and this part, again, they are identical. There is no way to choose one over the other. So if the current goes here is Y, so current will go here also Y. Now the same way here, if the total current entering at A is I, so total current leaving at B is also I though. So this should also be Y and this should also be Y. Now see what is there. This current that is coming here is Y and this current is going here is also Y. So no part of this current Y is splitting on this VAR. Same way current going here is Y and this current is also Y. So no part of the current Y is going to this VAR. So that is I am telling from these points and these points. The same thing will happen here. No part of this current will go here and here. So it will go like that. And no part of the current will of this current will go here and here. So in fact, no current will flow in this wire and no current will flow in this wire. So basically what that means that these points are identical in potential. The same way these points are identical in potential. Even without talking about the potential. Because no current is flowing in this part. So these parts do not contribute for the resistance. So we can safely eliminate, remove this straight wire and this straight wire. So what you will have, we will have this situation. Now thing is very simple. Look at this. This is our each uh, resistance between any two nearest nodes R. So this is R. This is R. These are R, R in series. So this is 2R. This is R, this is R, R, R in series, 2R, and this 2R and this 2R are in parallel. So this whole thing is R. Similarly, this whole resistance is R, 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 and all this R, 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 these are R. Resistance between any two nearest nodes are. So I can now simplify this ladder to this ladder. You can see this is A, this is B. And this thing I replace with R. This is R. This R is here. This R is here. And again, this is replaced by this R. And same thing on this side. So basically, we have replaced the original this ladder, this ladder to uh, this situation. Now we have to find the equivalent resistance between A and B. We'll make some further simplification. Now coming back to here. So what I want to say, I want to do, I want to... Uh, divide uh, this whole ladder into three parts. One is this R itself. And if I look the ladder to the left of AB, all this thing, this is an infinite ladder. Similarly, all this part is also an infinite ladder. This is going up to here infinity. This is going up to here infinity. So I'm assuming, let's assume that the resistance of this left part is R0 and the left part and right part are identical. So resistance of the right part is also R0 and we'll calculate R0. So I can re-simplify further this part as this. This is A, this is B, this is R and this whole thing we will replace to another resistance R0 and this whole thing will replace to another resistance R0. So basically we will have a three resistances in parallel R, R0 and R0. Once we get R0 that is a straightforward method to find RAB. 
Now to find this R0, I mean the equivalent resistance between either left part or right part of AB. So let me uh, draw the left part. This is this is the left part of AB. So that whole resistance is R0. So what we'll do, because this is an infinite ladder, so if I uh, remove this much part, this part, if I remove this part, so the resistance between A and B would be the same thing and the resistance between say this is C and this is D because again, whatever you, you look from A and B, that will be the same as we look from C and D. So if the equivalent resistance between A and B here is R0, so equivalent resistance between C and D will also be R0. So we can further simplify this left part as this. So what we have done, this is R, this is R, this is R. And this whole thing I have replaced to the equivalent resistance R0. Now using the normal way that we calculate in the infinite letter problem. So this to find this R0, this R0 is equivalent to See what is this? This is a R0 and R in parallel and their resultant is in series with R and R. So this R0 is first R0 and R in parallel and in the series 2R. So I can write R0 is equal to uh, R R0 upon R plus R0 that is the parallel combination and plus 2R. So we will simplify that that will be r r naught plus r naught square is equal to here r r naught plus uh, 2 r square and uh, plus 2 r r naught right so this r r naught will get cancelled for the simplification r naught square minus 2 r r naught and minus 2r square. This is a quadratic equation. Uh, solve for r naught. So solve for r naught, you will get 2r. Obviously resistance cannot be negative. So I am taking the positive root. So 2r plus square root of, this will be 4r square and plus uh, 8r square. And divide by 2. So simplify this. Uh, that will be uh, 2 root 3. So if we simplify, so we are going to get root 3 plus 1 R. So we got the resistance of the either left part or the right part of this infinite letter. Now, the overall resistance. Again, come to here. So this was the equivalent. So now the RAB, if the equivalent resistance is RAB, so 1 upon RAB is a parallel combination is equal to uh, 1 upon R plus 1 by R0 plus 1 by R0 that I can write 2 by R0 and uh, R0 we just calculated how much root 3 plus 1 R put it here root 3 plus 1 uh, R and there is a 2 so take uh, root 3 plus 1 uh, R LCM so there will be root 3 plus 1 and that is 2 so how much that is that is a uh, root 3 plus 3 divided by root 3 plus 1 into r and from the numerator we can take uh, root 3 lcm uh, root 3 common so that will be uh, this 3 root 3 plus 1 and here this is a uh, root 3 plus 1 now this root 3 plus 1 root 3 plus 1 gets cancelled so finally, we will have RAB is equal to uh, R by root 3. And this is our equivalent resistance. Thank you.